it's kind of confusing that some men of God who were prophesying that Peter Obi is going to become president, Tinibu inauguration will not hold, how they were advising their congregations to vote for Peter Obi, that God told them Peter Obi is the man of the year. Hey, after Tinibu inauguration, story does change you. A lot of prophecies are becoming that Peter Obi were ordained by people, while God ordained Tinibu. Story does change you. A lot of people don't they twist and robust their prophecy. I want you guys to watch this particular video because as I come across this video, I said, no, I just can't watch this video alone. Like this same pastor that I believe on, I'm not trying to criticize his prophecy because I know that what he says is still quite uh, understanding, but I want you guys to watch it with me. I will be right back to do some messages. If it is not my own will. I didn't vote. A day before the vote on Friday, I held a service here. Going down there to vote, I have God. Security were with me. He said, son, it's irrelevant to vote. I choose him. We didn't choose him. We didn't choose him. If it's in hell, I hate him. But God choose him. If God did not choose him, he will not allow him to mount the throne. He will kill him. Every Christian hated it. But what you hate might be your savior tomorrow. A day before the, the election, I was praying that we should list our voters' card. There he spoke. My continent changed. What came out of my mouth was, oh my God. Believe me, sir. You will thank God for being a Nigerian. <laughs> Business that has never been moving, we move. You will see people from the whites coming, begging to do anything. That is God's choice. Rita Bai said here openly, he said, Peter Obi won if the video is there, but they took the power and they gave it to old jagged man. That, I said it live. He won, but they took the power and they gave it to old jagged man. You will see all the proofs. After six months, a lot of shaking. If the video is there, you can watch it. But there are things, all these proofs they will bring. There are it resulted a peaceful and a powerful election, and it was won. And after it was won, they went at the back and they canceled it and they took the power. I said it here. And they gave it to the old jagan man. He was given. Please understand this. We there going to be a shake. The video is there. After six months of power, there is. I see a Labour Party winning and I see the party refusing to give. And I see renovation. And I see the youth taking the flag. And I see the position. The youth taking over. But I am praying against it. If they give it, this man is God's will. But the people's will is Obi. But your will is like a man putting his trust on a woman. When you cross a stream in a dry season, you will move strength. When you come back to cross that stream in the rainy season, that stream that passes you through will draw you down and break your backbone. That is like a man putting his trust on a woman. If you will have common sense, pray for this old jagged man to stay. For the other, which is our choice, we only truth to you that he has shown. And let her on frustrate you and I. 
I am never the choice of any man. People love a man of God that is petting, loving, coming. Nobody loves prophets. True prophets are being hated by nature. But they are the God choice for you to deliver you. The children of Israelite never loved Moses. They loved Aaron. Aaron is a pastor. Miriam is a pastor. But Moses is harsh. But God told them, only to the harshness of a prophet will I deliver you. You're sitting up today. You're vibrant today. It is through the ragged word of this man. Sometimes when you want to be weak in business, you remember the insult of out of the altar. You sit yourself up. It takes a rugged, jagged man to be your leader. Your choice is not God's choice. And God's choice is not your choice. But God's choice is a perfect choice. That is why Jesus knew his own will will receive him. That was why he asked God of his own will. The will of Jesus is not to go to the cross. But the will of God is for him to go to the cross. But at the end, God's will is what lifted the name of Jesus above every other name. That today, in that his name, every knee in heaven and on earth bows. God's will might be so rough. But at the end, something great is there. In the name of Jesus Christ, I see something great coming out of you in the name of Jesus. It is about to erupt in Nigeria. There will be a supernatural earthquake that will erupt that people say, wow. Financially, those that are nobody are going to become somebody in this regime. This regime shall be one of the best regime ever. Tinubu did his inauguration a few weeks back. Now some pastors are now twisting it back that okay, Tinubu is God ordained. Peter B was Nigeria ordained. That man purpose and God disposed. Me don't really understand. It's quite confusing because I came across a lot of his videos. If you go through our channel, we posted quite over two of his videos whereby this man stood his ground that his prophecy, how God said Tinubu will not become president. Peter B is God ordained. But I don't know why he's changing his mind right now. Is it like because Peter B did not visit his church? Or now that he saw that nothing will remove Tinibu from the seat, it shouldn't look like his prophecy did not come to pass. Then he's twisting it all side down. I don't really know. But it's quite confusing. I want you guys to watch what he said before. What he said before about Peter will be becoming the president and nothing will change it. How he advised Nigerians to vote for Peter will be. Good news, good news. That good news is this. He has spoken to us what 2023 will be. He has never spoken to me like this. This is the first time for 10 years God reviewed clearly on what 2023 will be i had him clear i don't need to hold pamphlet to tell you what he told me for all what he told me was diluted on this very head and there is no sign of bad news at all not for one see a labor party winning and i see departing refusing to give and i see renovation and i see the youth taking the flag and I see the position, the youth taking over. Remember I told you that I see the youth bringing out the ministers, beating them. And I see it, I saw them clear this morning. And I see them taking the authority by themselves. And I see them handling it to the young man called O.P. <laughs> I have never 
spoken it this way. It has only been announced during 31st night. He told me there clearly, he said, son, 2023 shall be our year of rest. Our year of rest. Anybody will shout me. Amen. He gave me the proof. Rest read second chronicle 20 verse. 25 to 30. Second Chronicle. Or go back to go back to 12 first. Because of 2022, many of us were tired. Second Chronicle 20, verse 12. He said, Oh our God, will you not judge them? For we have no power against this great multitude that is coming against us. Now, do we know what to do? But our eyes are upon you. Because of time, I will read it 31st night. Go to verse 22 downward. Jump to 22. He said, now, when they began to sing, we are going to sing from now till 31st, till first. Yes, sir. He said, now, when they began to sing, that is why if you don't know what to do, praise is what to do. Yes, sir. Praise is what will give us rest round about. Yes, sir. He said, now, when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambush against the people of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, who had come against Judah, and they were defeated. Because of time, continue, you will see that their carcass was picked and God give them rest round above. Yes, sir. God give them rest round above. Yes, sir. Because the multitude are much in this very rest. Look at it verse 30. He said, Then the remnant of Jehoshaphat was quiet, for his God gave them rest all around yes sir in 2023 yes sir you are coming with rest round about hey, i'm here as a messenger yes, sir. to speak what god has given to me never you doubt your doubts yes, because in that you're doubting your doubt in 2023 so. Your testimony will doubt your doubt. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now that you have watched the video, remember, don't judge so that you will not be judged. That is our Bible verse today. Don't judge. Don't judge. Should I use that as a title? Don't judge so that you will not be judged. Sir, there are some prophecies that took years to manifest. The fact that even if God did not speak to you, that you were just using you being a Nigerian, knowing that Peter or Bill will become a better of president than the rest contestants. Yes, is, there is no need of you not saying God ordained Tinibu, God choose Tinibu, God in Nigeria choose Peter or Bill. Me personally, there is a prophecy that took years to manifest. You are not just the only one who wish Peter or Bill, even all Nigerians wish Peter or Bill become president. Yes, Tunibu is God ordained, as you said. Maybe we don't know in quotes. Personally, I'm just my own personal perspective of this whole issue is that Tunibu might just be doing all this thing he's doing because there's still case in the courts. Remember, Tunibu just fired the CBN governor, like removed from office, arrest him in quotes. Tunibu already allows states to generate their own electricity, and Tunibu is doing a quite a lot of things right now. That will make Nigeria to say, okay, yeah, let's give him time. But there is still fear ahead. What if this court case is over? Do you think that what everything that Tinibu is doing right now that he will continue with it? That is my own fear. But if he continue this way, there might be chances because the only thing Nigeria is holding up to him right now is the first subsidy. Yes, the reason he removed the first subsidy is quite understanding, but the manner of which he removed it is the problem here. 
The only thing I'm saying right now is that let's not just divert our attention away from our brother prophecy. Why would you say God told you that Peter B is going to become president automatically now that Peter B lost? It is not lost now that they stole Peter B mandate. God prophesied about Jacob Israel in the land of Egypt to 400 years to manifest. And God prophesied about the promised land to 40 years to manifest. You could not even wait for 400 years. <laughs> it is my way for 400 years, eh? We will not do this world though. Even 40 years, a lot of us don't buy, come on for this world. But now only we will come to this earth to enjoy the new era of Peter. Will be. Anyway, what do you guys think about this prophecy? Like God said to him today, after inauguration, God said another thing. I'm not trying to criticize our pastor. Remember that I'm a Christian. I'm not yet to criticize what the pastor said. What I'm just trying to say is that why is God telling you two different things? You said God said Peter B is going to become the president. That was your prophecy. Like Peter B, you saw it that Peter B is going to do this, it's going to do that. If you saw it, that means God showed it to you. Then automatically after Tinibu inauguration, you need to speak to your members. Instead of you to say they should hold their ground, God will still make public show of the enemies of Nigeria. And then automatically, you're not trying to say, okay, if I have to go, there will be more kimi that my prophecy is not accurate. Okay, now you now said, God shoes Tinibu, Nigeria shoes Peter. That one is quite, it's quite funny. It's quite funny. Nigerians, if you are watching this video, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Do you think, okay, this is the best thing this man could do? This is, you know, I know there are a lot of people supporting Tinibu. So those supporting Tinibu will say, hey, yes, this is right. This is accurate prophecy. You know, it was God out then or choose Tinibu. It was Nigeria that chose Peter B. For those of you, all the obedient like us, what do you guys think? Please, if you watch this video, you did not comment. Ah, there's a new prophecy for you. Tinibu will rule for 400 years. If you do not comment, Tinibu will rule for 400 years. If you say God forbid, I beg comment. What do you think about this prophecy? I want to hear it from you in the comment section. I want to read all your comments. What do you think about prophet Rita B prophecy? This is what we're going to be ending our video today. I have a really great time with you guys watching this video to this very moment. Thank you very much. God bless you for your great work. If it is the first time of coming across our video, please do endeavor to subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you'll be amongst. The first person to be notified anytime Plan B TV team upload a new video. Remember, we love you. God love you more. And we pray for Nigeria to be better for all of us. Wherever you are watching us for, whatever you wish for, God will grant it for you. All the good things that you wish yourself, your family, may God grant it for you. This year is your year. And I pray that God will lead you through and your grace will multiply. All right. Let me not become a prophet. <laughs> I love you guys and God love you more. Until we meet again. Peace out. Remember, we'll be waiting for your comments. Comment your thoughts in the comment section. We are prophesying. Love you. Don't forget to subscribe to get notified. And I see the show your support. Now say God, God bless you too. Dance on the bed. Plan B TV. Plan B TV. Plan B TV, Plan B TV, Plan B TV, Plan B TV, Plan B TV.